Thank you, Paul. Thank you, folks. Welcome back here to the show. Red Fox is here tonight, uh, Ken Kesey, and uh, all kinds of exciting stuff. Let me uh, bring out my first guest. Paul, have you ever worked with this man before anywhere? Uh, never had the pleasure, no. All right. Have looking you ever met him before? No, uh, looking forward to it. Though. You excited well, about this? Yeah. Okay. And I got a request for him, too. I don't know whether we have time. But okay, you want to ask me? piece you of material. P oh, all right. Well, we'll just save it for when he okay. comes out here. All right. Uh, my first guest tonight is the star of this brand new videotape. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was having trouble getting the impulses across those synapses tonight. Uh, this videotape called Red Fox Video in a Plain Brown Wrapper. Please welcome the man for whom it's named, the star of this videotape, Red Fox. Red Iron. Nice to see you again. How you feeling? Oh, boy. to see you. It's been a long time since we've actually laid eyes on one another. Yes, I remember the last time uh, we were being interviewed somewhere with some newspaper people and you said you had 13 weeks and I said, my goodness, no, you had 16 weeks, I had 13 weeks and I've been off five years. Yeah. How long have you been on that? Since 1951? Uh, early, yeah, since the early 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. What did you bring me here? It's a pomegranate from my yard. I have a pomegranate bush or a tree. It's so big, it must be a tree. But uh, they just start falling off before I came here. So I figured I'd bring you one. This grows uh, in your backyard in Las California? Vegas. Las Vegas. Oh, Las Vegas. This is pretty exotic stuff, isn't it? Oh, it is, and it's a puzzle to eat it. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah, they're very tasty. Thank you very much, Red. I Pleasure. appreciate that. Now, let's talk about this uh, uh, videotape. Now, is this your, your, your part of your nightclub act, Red? That's all of my nightclub act. All of your nightclub act. <laughs> yeah. And, it's uh, good, too. It, no, I'm sure it's good. No, I saw it last night, the first time. <laughs> first time you had seen it. No, huh? the first time I had seen myself, you know, perform that type of material, and, and I was sort of shame, you know. Uh, but uh, I was, you know, because I mean, not dirty as Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. Oh, so you, so you so feel? I felt shame, you know. What I mean? Yeah. Now I was it, trying to catch up with him. Is there is there is there any material on this show? How long is this? It's about an hour. Out in 15 minutes. Any material in this hour and 15 minutes that you could do on this show right here tonight? Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is this about it? No, no, there's got to be got to be something else you now can I'm do. I'm telling you, I swear, there's nothing else on there I could say from that album. No kidding. I tried to make a good one. Now, <laughs> now, I also read this afternoon that in all of the years you've worked on television, variety shows, situation comedies, shows like this, on and on and on, you've never been bleeped. That's true. Never have. So, I, well, I know I'm on television, you know, and I know that you could edit a dirty word, but I would save that for my nightclub act. Mm -hmm. So, and this tape, because there's plenty of it in there, so I don't need it here. Yeah. Now, uh, what, what kind of stuff uh, comes close that you could do on television? What, if you were going to give us a sample of this, is there any way you can do it without, uh, you know what I'm saying, kind of deleting necessary parts? Only possible thing I could think of I could do is drop my pants. <laughs> yeah, I, um, no. <laughs> now, now, uh, Red, let me, is, is the videotape here pretty much what the old party records were? Yeah, pretty much so, but the, not, not quite. See, I made 55 albums, and none of them 55? Yeah. Oh, that's an amazing amount of work. Yeah, I wish I'd have got some of the money. <laughs> but You didn't get paid for these things? Oh, it's so many crooks, it's a shame. But anyway, 55 albums and 40 of them, I never had a curse word on them. But before I started cursing, I was already branded a dirty old man. So now I'm living up to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at a couple of these. Uh, this is an interesting label. Is that Dudo? Yeah, that's Dudo. Now, what, is, what does Dudo uh, mean? I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Just the first part, I know that's Dude. Uh-huh, that's right. Now, this is Red Fox, Naughties But Goodies. And, oh, I see on the back here we have Dootsie Williams. Mm -hmm. Take a that picture of Dootsie. Do you, know, do you know this yeah, man? Yeah, I made him once. This is the America's foremost authority on American humor. Is that what it says? That's what it yeah, says. Yeah, foremost authority on American I'm humor. I'm the foremost authority on this kind of humor over here. Now, uh, what is Dootsie doing these days? I have no idea. <laughs> All right. Here's Hardy Party Laughs. Uh-huh. I didn't know that was out yet. <laughs> party party laughs now did you help name any of these no i made 55 albums and now it's over 300 out 
different titles and stuff, you know, so I sure wish I knew who was putting them out. Yeah. Now, uh, you haven't been on television in a uh, regular uh, program in a while. No, they always want me to be a father or uncle, you know, and I just don't want to be that father or uncle. I had to learn to be a father when I did Sam's son, because I never, I don't have any children, you know, no son, nothing. So I didn't know how to touch him, you know, unless he might think I was, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So I just said, son, so and so, and I... I had to, it was really acting, I had to really act. Yeah, now how did, did you develop that character from somebody you knew, or was that... Uh, my family. Your family was... And my mother and my grandfather. My grandfather walked like Fred Sanford, and my mother has a heart attack. She's had a heart attack every day since 1922. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now she's 81, and she'll have a heart attack tonight when I mention it. Yeah. 81, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. She's very active. Uh, we, we, got to, uh, we got to pause here for a commercial. We'll be back with uh, Red Fox. We got uh, more stuff back here, Red, we want to oh. talk about it. Fox is here. But, uh, you know, Barbara Walters was on the show uh, not so long ago, and she was mentioning that one of the uh, homes that she had visited for an interview uh, over the years was yours, and she said, in fact, it was one of the most unique homes that she had been in. She said you had monkeys in, uh, in your house? Yeah, I got monkeys in the front window. So I put the cage outside, but the window to the house acts as a, like, a window for the monkey's cage, so you can sit in the house in the warmth by the fireplace and watch the monkeys do their number. <laughs> I'm sorry, do their what? Number. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh... How many, how many monkeys do you have? I got two now, but uh, I have rabbits, too. I have 30 rabbits that, as of day before yesterday. <laughs> are, they, are they running uh, loose in your house, or you got them in the no, backyard? No, they or? just run loose in the yard, and they dig down so that they can duck the dogs, you know, so... Uh -huh. You got dogs also? Dogs, yeah, 14 dogs looking for rabbits. <laughs> Uh, this is, you apparently have quite a, quite a spread, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, I got a five and a half acres, and I got another acre somewhere else. I didn't throw away everything. <laughs> you don't know where the other acre is? You just... No, I don't remember exactly, but I think it's in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to keep a spare acre on hand. Uh, you never know when it's Everyone gonna... should have a spare acre. You're from Missouri, weren't you? Born St. in St. Louis? St. Louis, yeah. 4461 Enright, house still standing. Must be 100 years old now. Are there, are there people still living in it? Sure. It's a brick house. Do you, do you want to... I mean, you just gave the address. Yeah, 4461 Enright. <laughs> yeah. So if they live in there, they can sell tickets to people who want to see where I was born on the top floor. Uh, what kind of kid were you? Terrible. Yeah? No, I had my own way about me. You know, I, had my, I, I liked to lead and I would like to go places. So when I was 13, I got on a freight train and uh, came here to New York to be on Major Bo's Amateur Hour. Doing what? What were you... At the... I was singing. Yeah? Yeah, I sang good with a group. The four bonbons. The bonbons were like little chocolate candies, and we were four brown skin dudes, so that was a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, how far did you get? All the way to... Did you make it to the show? Oh, yeah, we made it to the show, and uh, we won the uh, second prize, and they gave us a job in Newark, New Jersey for a week. And uh, they still, still owe us. <laughs> <laughs> this was when you were 13? 13, yeah. Did you ever go back to your uh, folks then? Well, I went back to my... I left home when I was 13. I went back when I was 31. Yeah. You know? So, uh, I mean, I love New York, and I stayed here. You know, so it was good for me. Uh -huh. Working uh, just clubs and... Uh... Clubs. I worked clubs. I worked street... I worked on the street corners for two years, just making money in street corners. Yeah. You know, what kind of act would you do then? Still singing? Comedy and singing, yeah. comedy songs, you know, Three Little Fish in the Itty Bitty Pool and stuff like that. They were right. They were singing those kind of numbers then. Yeah. When did comedy take over from the, uh, when did it become all comedy? When I found out how much money it paid. Yeah. I immediately <laughs> say, this is it for me, comedy, you know, it was good money, so. So you were done in school by 13? Well, not exactly. I wasn't through. But as far as Dick was concerned, I was through. Yeah. Because I didn't go in too often. <laughs> but I got as far as high school, and I was a genius, you know what I mean? At 13 years old, I was in high school. Oh, that's it. yeah, well, that's pretty you know good. I mean? But I didn't stay too long. I stayed a year. Uh -huh. And then I found out with no money, and then all the coats had been stolen. So, <laughs> well, did, you ever, stay there. did you ever get tossed out of school before you left? A couple of times I was tossed out. What you know? for? Well, a teacher threw a book at me, and I threw it back. She missed me, and I called her right in the ear. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's no good. Brad, let me ask you about this. You got, uh, this is New Orleans, how do you say New Orleans? 
New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Whatever. Uh, Red Fox, New Orleans, uh, Louisiana-style all-purpose barbecue sauce. Yes, that's my business now. Is to bring a laugh to your face. It's so good. You can eat it with a piece of bread. I'm not kidding you. Best barbecue sauce on the market today, and I'm not kidding you. Now, is that your own recipe here? That's my own recipe. Nah, and you don't even know what's in it, do you? Are you kidding? Tell you me what's it in it. I'll tell you if it's No, right. no, you name it. <laughs> <laughs> pomegranates. No, no pomegranates. No, there's no pomegranates in there. No. Well, you got it's some. Go ahead, it's tomatoes. And pepper. Tomatoes, right? Yes. Onions. Yeah, onions. Stuff. Yeah, Basil. all right, all right, close Maybe. enough. Let me try this. You mind? Yes, please. I'm just it because it's on there for tight, tight, you know. <laughs> Well, here, Red, you, there's probably some kind of a trick to that, isn't it? No, there's not. It's just you catch it right here. Oh, I see. You take off the, take off the seal. So like to the see seal is sealed up because it's uh, safer. You have to shake this, no, maybe? You don't really have to shake it because it's ready all the time. Mm. <laughs> Boy, it smells good. It, it smells terrific. It's great, man. I wish you had a piece of bread. But no, we, no. we had one here a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I, guess it's, I guess it's gone, Red. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, pour a little of that behind your tires in the winter. You're having trouble getting traction. Uh -huh. Woo! <laughs> ha! This is great. Yeah, this is terrific stuff. That's very nice. Hey, I thank you for saying so, because it is true. I'm not kidding you. You can pull down a piece of bread, and it's hot, though, isn't it? This is it the hot. Is. We have hot, medium, mild, and ooey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's actually very tasty stuff. Where, where are you yeah. working now? Are you still uh, in Atlanta well, I just City? finished uh, Night City at Playboy. Yeah. I had another engagement in February, uh -huh. and uh, it was 26. I started. Uh, this is my last engagement over there, and let's say, uh, give me something, you know, another contract. Do you think you'd be coming back to television in the near future for anything? Well, I've been all five years, and they ain't said nothing to me, so somebody must be crazy, because I'm good on TV. Yeah. But they just think I can only be a junk man or something, something like that. But I can be any character they want to, is give me the script. Yeah. But somebody ought to try something, some of them dummies up there. <laughs> well, I, I hope it works out. I, if I don't care. Folks I mean, would like to see you back. So I can always go back to armed robbery. <laughs> <laughs> Red Fox, folks. That, nice to see you again, Red. Nice job. Uh, we'll be back, folks, with limited perspective of uh, the big show.